So if you did get the optional solid bed mount kit, we're going to install this on the machine before we go ahead and set the Z offset. So if you don't have the solid bed mount kit, you don't need to do this step. But if you do have the solid bed mount kit, we're going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to show you how to replace it really quick. All you do is shut your printer's power off. We're going to go ahead and pull the bed forward. And you're going to take the wheels off. If you press down on the bed a little bit, they spin right off. So do that to all four corners. And the last one in the corner here. Okay, so with all the stock wheels taken off, we can lift the bed up. If you have a factory strain relief like this one does, there's usually a zip tie holding it. Let's go ahead and snip that and remove it. Lift the bed up and take the springs off. There'll be one in each corner. And then go ahead and remove the factory strain relief if it has one. This one has like a little clip holding the top down, so you gotta release this clip for it to let go of the wire. And then it comes off like that. And like I said, if your printer can use the strain relief, go ahead and use it just like this one here. This will line up on here and then the wires will clip in. If your printer doesn't fit the strain relief that we include, you'll want to use a standard round in the corner. And some printer beds have a strain relief already built into them. In that case, you would also use the standard round as well. But in this printer's case, this is a CR10 V2. This does fit on this machine and it will line up with the wires. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on and then we're gonna put a round on each of these other ones. If you have the cam arm kit, we usually recommend you put it towards the front left or front right. So either this side or this side. On this printer though, you got to make sure that you have it angled so that when the bed moves all the way forward and back, the arm doesn't collide with these upright pieces. You could also just take these off of this printer. These don't really add that much stability, but whatever machine you have, make sure that the cam arm is going to clear it. We do have the dimensions of the cam arm listed if you're using the cam arm kit. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on the back here. Make sure the screw goes through the carriage in the back. Put the rounds on the front two bolts here as well. And then make sure the screws go through the carriage on the front. It does take a sec to get them lined up, but now the bed's sitting flat. And all we have left to do is put the stock wheels on. One thing I will say is if you have Loctite, throw a little drop of Loctite in the little brass nut here on these wheels to prevent it from rolling off. Or if you want, you can even just take a nut and replace this big wheel with a nut. Like these are M4 bolts. You can use an M4 nut and just not have to deal with these big wheels. But we want to go ahead and just tighten these down. Don't tighten them too tight, but just tighten them down so they don't move. And we're going to put these back on all four corners. Now, when we come to the back here, since we are using the strain relief, we want to go ahead and make sure this is all lined up before we tighten this back corner down. I'm going to go ahead and take two of the zip ties that came with the solid bed mount kit. The ones that come with the Easy ABL are the same, so you can use either one. And we're going to go ahead and pull this through the mount, then tighten it over the wire. Once you have the pieces in place, go ahead and cut them so the zip ties don't get in the way and then put the final nut wheel thing on the bottom here. So now we have the solid bed mounts installed. If you guys do have them, make sure you put them on before you set the offset. But I just wanna show you guys with the solid bed mounts installed, you can see how stiff these printer beds get versus with the springs. These will offer a lot more stability for your printer bed. So the bed isn't wobbling around because it's sitting on springs. These are a really good upgrade for an ABL enabled printer. These solid bed mounts work with our easy ABL and even the BL touches. 